guys welcome back okay so it's been a minute since i've done like new releases with kk or you know what's new in makeup stuff like that um there's been a lot going on <laughs> a lot going on and i haven't really seen anything coming out that's really excited me or got my attention it's really been slow lately as far as things that i like so I said, you know what? I really need to just sit down, take a look, see what's happening and, you know, talk to my peeps and see what you guys think about some of these new releases. So I think what I'm going to do since it's been such a long time, I feel like since I've done one of these, I'm just going to go back maybe until kind of like the beginning of March or just over the last few weeks, things that have been posted on Trend Mood and Indie Makeup Spotlight, you know, my favorite two uh, Instagram pages to go to for new releases and just kind of see what catches my eye and give you guys some information about it. Most likely you guys already know about these products or they've been out for a while, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> because I really have just been kind of like in, you know, a mode of really focusing on other things that are going on in the world right now. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look. I want to look at Indie Makeup Spotlight, of course. You know, I got to check out my girl Amy's Instagram page to see what she's posted over the last couple of weeks and what's coming out in Indie Brands. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so this last post I see here is from Love Lux Beauty. They're chrome quads. It says they'll be available today, so I'm assuming they're available now. $20 each at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, yeah, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be available because <laughs> I don't think this is a same-day upload. But, yeah, so, oh, these are really pretty. It looks like they have the different colors, a purple one like a ready orange one, a pink one, a yellow one with kind of like a mustard kind of hint to it. Those are actually really cute. I'm not that familiar with Love Lux Beauty, so I'm not sure exactly how small these are because they look like they could be kind of small, but you know, in pictures, you can't really tell. <laughs> so yeah, these are really, really cute. So Anyways, those are $20 each and it looks like they're available now. And you guys keep in mind with indie brands, with them being smaller brands, sometimes they sell out super duper fast before you even know that they <laughs> were coming out with something. They can be sold out in unless you knew ahead of time. So if some of these items are already sold out, my apologies for being late, but if they're not, then you might be able to go ahead and scoop you up one, okay? So next we have here from Menagerie Cosmetics. Now I have seen this going around. This is the Pastel Pup Palette, available for $36. They also have three foil, is it, oh, tray foil singles, available for $6 each. Those foiled singles look really, really nice. Now, when she posted it, it says that they have reduced shipping rates right now. So I don't know if that's still going to be current, but those are really nice. Now, the palette, not really my vibe because I'm not really into pastels all that much. I have some pastel shadows that I don't really play in, but it's not really my vibe. So I'm not really drawn to that but it's a really cute palette. So check it out if you're interested. So it looks here like Terra Moon Cosmetics has some new pastel chameleon shadows um, coming out. Oh, they have a launch date of March 24th. So not sure if they'll be out by the time I drop this video or not, but March 24th, it says available for pre-order at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can use Amy's discount of Amy Loves for 15% off. Now those are really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. <laughs> Pastel Chameleon Shadows. I might have to check those out. Those are really, really nice. So those are gorgeous. Okay, so there's a palette here from Solo Look and it's the Charmed palette. Okay, so for the TV show, never watched it. But it says here that it's launching on March the 28th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard, <laughs> Pacific Standard Time for pre-order. 
these pre-orders kill me, you guys, because... I pre-order something and it's like, you know, I want that instant gratification. I want to see my stuff within the next five to seven days. And, you know, you pre-order it. It doesn't come for a month or so or two months. And then you forget you even ordered it. <laughs> so me personally, I'm kind of steering clear away from pre-order stuff unless it's something I really, really want. Because I just, by the time it comes, I mean, I forgot that I ordered it. But anyways, this palette in particular, uh, it's not speaking to me. It is not. I don't like the shape of the palette. I don't like the color. I just, I don't like anything about it. But I guess if you're a fan of the show, you might like it. You might get it. It might speak to you, but it's not speaking to me, okay? <laughs> so it's a no for me. Okay, so it looks like Samantha March and Ofra Cosmetics, they have like a bundle of highlighters coming out. What is this? PR bundle, now available for pre-sale, $129. Ooh, what is that? Is it three highlighters and two lip products? Hmm, I can't really tell, but you really can't go wrong with Ofra highlighters. If you get the right shade for your skin tone, their highlighters are absolutely gorgeous. But you can use the code Samantha for 20% off. Official launch is Friday the 20th. Okay, so these are already out, I see. So, yeah, no need to worry. These are already out, but yeah, Ofra is not cheap. But I guess for that whole bundle, $129 is not bad. I won't be getting it, though. Okay, so it looks like Peachy Queen has a new eyeshadow palette out. It's called the Far Out Palette. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty. Those are some really pretty, bright, spring, Easter type colors to me. Very, very pretty. Very, very bright. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be picking it up just because for me, Peachy Queen has been a little bit hit or miss um with a couple of their palettes so i think i'm gonna pass on this maybe i'll check out a few reviews on it and see what's going on in the streets but yeah i personally won't be picking this up but it's actually a really cute palette i like the whole tie-dye theme of it it's kind of cute now i see here an eyeshadow palette from lunar skies cosmetics i've never heard of them it says that it's the amethyst moon palette launching on march 13th so it should already be out very very pretty last thing i need is another purple palette though <laughs> so yeah i definitely won't be purchasing this but those shades look very very nice it really does remind me a lot of the ColourPop one the it's my pleasure which is one of my favorite purple palettes but it looks like maybe the it's my pleasure might go a little bit deeper but this one is very, very pretty. I like that pop of like pink that's in there as well. So yeah, very, very nice. Now this is something exciting from Touch of Glam Beauty. These look like multi-shifting glitters. Very, very pretty. It says they're available now as singles or in a bundle. These glitters are really, really pretty. Now I did order some Touch of Glam eyeshadow singles uh really really gorgeous ones i haven't used them i've swatched them kind of like you know played around in them haven't really used them yet but they are so gorgeous but they are pricey okay touch of glam is pricey so just a heads up but these glitters look absolutely gorgeous if you want to check them out very very pretty okay so now i'm gonna hop over to the trend mood site or Instagram page and take a look at what she's listed over the last couple of weeks. So it looks here like there's a new summer 2020 collection. This is a sneak peek from MAC Cosmetics. It says it includes eyeshadows, bronzers, glosses, lipsticks, face illuminators, and more. So this is something that's coming soon. Don't have a lot of information on it, but... It looks like it's probably going to be pretty nice for summer. Very, very pretty. Okay, so next we have a collab here from Ulta and Morphe. And it says here that it's their first music artist collab, which includes a festival-inspired collection backstage with Sawiti. Is that how you say her name? 
I'm not hip like the youngsters. <laughs> but it says backstage with Saweetie. Ice Lips Trio, where you get three shimmery shades, Tilted Boss, Tycoon, and Money Mommy. Money Mommy 8 inch. Lord have mercy with these names. 24 pan eyeshadow palette with a mix of bright, neutral, iridescent mattes, shimmery colors, and pressed glitters. One of them has stars in it. Okay. Mini continuous setting mist in the scent Sweet Peach. VIP Sweet by Sweetie Face and Eye Brush Kit. Okay, that's cute. That is cute. I have to admit that the palette is really pretty. If you're not into glitter, of course, I'm sure this is really turning you off because it looks like there's a lot of glitter in there. But I think it's a cute little palette. I can't say for sure that I won't cop it because <laughs> it is cute. Very, very cute. Um, Yeah, the brushes, the brushes I'm not interested in. The cute little lip glosses, those are cute. But... Yeah, actually, they're kind of pretty. <laughs> Just looking at the swatches, those are kind of pretty. But yeah, the main thing, of course, that is appealing to me is the palette. Not really in the market for palettes right now, but I can't say I won't pick that one up. It's cute. Okay, so I know Fenty is coming out with a lot of stuff lately. It looks like here they have a new shade for... What is that? The body illuminizer so it says here cognac candy by fenty beauty shine from head to toe in this island gal dewy glow a copper shade body lava is in a gel based body illuminizer that veils skin in a gloriously dewy high shine finish for 59 dollars diamond bomb jelly powder bouncy formula diamond dusted highlighter that applies like a 3D glittery veil. Sparkle all over the face and the body, $39. Both of those look very, very pretty. I'm not into body illuminators and stuff, at least not actually putting them on. They look gorgeous in pictures, but yeah, I just, I can't bring myself to buy that much for a body shimmer. I'd rather just make my own or use one of the less expensive ones that I have here. <laughs> but that color is so pretty. That body lava, that's gorgeous. Okay, so it looks like Artist Couture is coming out with some new products. This is the Supreme Nudes. There's the Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette for $40 with 12 shades, mattes, shimmers, and metallics. That's pretty. Silk Cream Lipsticks, new product for the brand, $18 each. And they're starting out with six shades. It has a satin finish with a little bit of shine. Diamond Glow Powder for $27. It's available on March the 20, 27th. March 27th. So, yeah, very, very pretty. Of course, it's not anything I would ever purchase. It's too neutral for me. <laughs> not enough color, but it's actually a very nice looking palette. If I was in the market for that, I would definitely check it out. Those lipsticks look nice, though. I might have to check out one of those shades, you know, for kind of like a nude lip just to see how they uh, apply and perform. Very pretty. Okay, so it looks like Origins has a new lip product. It says the Blooming Shine Lip Glaze infused with a nourishing blend of 12 flowers. This high shine lip gloss delivers kissable, non-sticky color and keeps lips smooth, supple, and petal soft. Packed with crushed petals, buttery flower waxes, flower honeys, and essential oils for $20. That sounds very, very nice for the lips. I don't know if I'd pay $20 for a lip glaze, but, oh, they have some gorgeous shades though. Very, very pretty. Hmm. I've never tried Origins, but I don't think I'll be trying it for $20. Okay, so ColourPop came out with the Mulan collection. I did see that I was kind of drooling over the palette because it's very, very pretty. But when I look at that palette, all I see is a mini version of the Tati palette. That is all I see when I look at that. And I already have the Tati palette. So I'm like, there's really no need for me to purchase this from ColourPop. But it is gorgeous. Um, 
So it says here, full new Mulan and ColourPop collection. It includes the eyeshadow palette for $22, which is a mix of mattes, shimmers, and foiled shades. No press glitters. I know some of them look like press glitters, but they're actually foiled shades. So I know a lot of people are going to be happy about that. Um, it has a luxe velvet liquid lipstick in strong, is it strong chi? $9.00. Luxe Cream Lipstick in Hua Mulan, $9. Luxe Gloss in Phoenix, $9. Lip Bundle, $25. Two blushes, $12 each. Face and Lip Bundle, $17. They have the uh, Jasmine Tea Face Milk, a gold lip mask. Full Collection, $81. PR Collection, $99. And the fan is $10. So... I don't know if all that stuff is still available. It usually sells out pretty quick, but I did want to mention that just in case <laughs> by chance it's still available. Very, very pretty. And if not, it probably will come back. I think at least the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so it looks like Good Molecules is coming out with a new product. This is the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder for your freshest looking skin. This powder to creamy foam cleanser is formulated to gently exfoliate, brighten, and soothe your skin. I've been trying out some Good Molecules products that they sent me, and I really, really like them. And I love trying out new cleansers, so this is my, something I might have to pick up. Um, it says natural rice, starches, and silk powder to gently exfoliate and buff the skin. Pineapple, kiwi, and papaya extracts to break down and remove dead skin cells on the skin surface layer. Mm, okay. 1% calamine powder to soothe and calm. It says ethyl ascorbic acid is an antioxidant to maintain a bright skin tone. Packaged in recyclable glass. $16 available. Now, I'm very interested in that. I wonder if it smells like pineapple. Because I really want to try that out. That is really cool for it to be a powder to creamy foam cleanser. I have a powder cleanser that I haven't tried out yet. So maybe I should try that one out and see if I like it before I purchase a new one. But yeah, very, very interested in that. Okay, so Melt Cosmetics created a whole eyeshadow palette based around their Rust stack. So this is the Rust Collection. And it includes the eyeshadow palette, 10 shades for $58. There's the Ultra Matte Gel Liner in Burnish Red Brown for $19. That sounds really pretty. And then there are two existed matte lipsticks, 1969 and Mural. And I'm assuming they're $17. This It's not worded right, but that's what I'm assuming. Uh... This looks really pretty to me. <laughs> it does. It looks really pretty. I know it's not bright and colorful and rainbow-esque, but that looks really, really pretty. Now, Melt is very pricey to me. I mean, very pricey. So it's hard for me to bring myself to pay $58 for an eyeshadow palette that is full of color. So getting one that looks like this for $58 is going to be hard for me, but I don't know. I'm going to have to think that one over because that is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Sugar Peel has another capsule eyeshadow palette. <laughs> it says the C2 Capsule Collection by Sugar Peel, $42. And this is an Ulta exclusive. Looks like it's available now. Yeah, I mean, the shadows are really cute, but I just, I can't get past that packaging. I cannot get past the packaging. Yeah, looking at the swatches, it's a very, very pretty color scheme. Absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, no, I won't be picking it up because I can't get past that packaging. Okay, so it looks like Fresh Beauty has some new lip balms um, out. It says the Hydrating Lip Balm, a rich moisturizing lip treatment for $18 in watermelon, lime mint, and blood orange. Well, those look refreshing, okay? Ooh, very tempting, very tempting. But y'all know I'm cheap. I ain't paying no $18 for no lip balm. <laughs> but they're very tempting because they look very, very refreshing. 
Okay, so it looks like Farsali is coming out with a rose gold elixir 24 karat moisturizing gel cream. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Now, just looking at this moisturizer with these gold flecks in it just kind of makes me think about that whole BoxyCharm scandal thing, you know. I actually got that product and I used it. It didn't do anything, you know. It didn't make me break out or do anything crazy to my skin, so... I'm not worried about it, but I actually did purchase that. And I think it is kind of crazy that it's a product that you can purchase for like a dollar or, you know, some change or whatever. And they claim that it's worth a hundred bucks. That's not cool <laughs> at all. But anyway, back to this uh, Farsali gel cream. It says the new weightless gel cream that instantly adds hydration to the skin while keeping it supple and leaving a naturally shine free glow. It's formulated with rose hip seed oil, 24 karat gold and hyaluronic acid for $39. Okay. Well, at least they're not claiming it's worth a hundred. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it looks cool or whatever, but from what I understand, you know, but gold really doesn't do anything to help your skin. So I guess it's just supposed to make you feel luxurious when you're using it. But the rose hip seed oil and hyaluronic acid, very, very good. So it should be available, I think, by the time I get this video up. It says available March 23rd online at Farsali Care and Sephora. So very, very neat. Very cool. It's so sad that when I see a new collection from ColourPop come out, it's like, I just want to skip over the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, my goodness. Okay. How many collections can you come out with, ColourPop? This one, what is this? This is the Making Mauves collection. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, there's a Making Mauves eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Mercy Bouquet Super Shock Shadow Duel in Day Tripping and Bloomer. Two pressed powder blushes, Coast to Coast and Catch My Vibe, and Lux Glosses in Figgy With It and Check In. So, another collection from ColourPop. This is what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not interested. Okay, so Murad Skincare has some new products that are out now. It says, Environmental Shield Gold Stabilizing Vitamin C products never look better. They're adding not one, but two new products. First, the Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum for $80. For $80. <laughs> Ooh, child. Okay, helps improve the look of hyperpigmentation and uneven tone for dramatically brighter, healthier looking skin. Now, I have used Murad products, and they are very, very nice, but they are very, very pricey. Okay, let's see. Secondly, we have the Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Color Corrector for $62. $62. Gold Stabilizing Vitamin C Eye Serum fights the look of dark circles in as little as two weeks while light reflecting micro minerals instantly brighten one of a kind vita c complex enhances lascorbic acid stability and potency to brighten the skin okay now that is something that i might have to check out because it says it fights the look of dark circles in as little as two in as little as two weeks and my dark circles be coming in strong every morning so that right there caught my attention but <laughs> so pricey it's <laughs> so so pricey okay so look for those if you're looking for some new skincare from murad okay anastasia beverly hills has come out with a new mascara it says lash brag volumizing mascara achieve maximum lash volume and fullness you can't stop bragging about instantly creates the look of dramatic full-bodied lashes with intense jet black color hourglass shaped brush separately coats each lash with the lush full pigment formula that glides on without weighing down lashes $25 or you can check out a mini size for $13 that's not bad I might have to check that out okay so it says it is available now Charlotte Tilbury has a new collection that includes 
new luxury palettes for $53 each. <laughs> Super blue with metallic gold, deep navy and shimmering blue shades. Green lights with glowing gold and khaki green shades. Copper charge with shimmering gold, rose copper and russet brown shades. Mesmerizing maroon with rich purple plum and maroon shades. Those are actually really pretty. Also matching eye color magic liner duos for $30. One side is matte to add shape and depth and the other side is metallic for the inner corner and the lower and upper lash line to make the eyes look bigger and brighter. Feline Flick Liquid Eyeliner Pans are $30 each in black and brown. Available March 12th, so it's available now. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty, yeah. I've already decided that Charlotte Tilbury is out of my price range, <laughs> so I won't be checking those out. But those are actually really pretty. Okay, so we have some new products from Jouer. You can get 15% off with the code TRENDMOOD. It says new blushes with a new lip product. Essential hydrating lip oil in natural shine for $18. It looks like they also have here two duos, which are called their blush bouquets for $30. Very, very pretty. I wonder if that deeper one will work for me. I might have to check out some reviews of these just to kind of see how they look and how they perform. But yeah, that deeper one looks very, very nice. Very pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have to talk about this new collection that is coming out from Give Me Glow coming up this summer. It's not out now, but just looking at these pictures has got me all excited. Oh my gosh. These highlighters are so pretty. It looks like there's going to be the shades California Dreamin' and Late Night Coastin'. Both of them are so, so pretty. It actually looks like there's three shades from these pictures, but I don't know. Maybe there's just ones at a different angle, but oh my gosh, so, so gorgeous. Yeah, so I'll definitely have my eyes out for those when they become available. And it looks like you'll be able to use the code TRENDMOOD to get 10% off. I love Gimme Glow Shadow, so I know I'm going to love these highlighters. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Okay, so it looks like Stila has some new shadows out online at Stila. These are the Double Dip Suede Shade and Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Oh, those are pretty. It says the perfect pairing of matte and glitter magnetized duos in 12 striking pairings so you can mix and match to create different looks for $24. Those look like some really, really pretty colors. Oh my gosh. I do not need to buy any more Stila type shadows for my eyes. I have a whole plethora that I'm not currently using, but these are so, so pretty. Ah, that's going to be hard. Nice little duo for $24. I'd like to see some reviews on those though, just to see how they are going to perform. Cause some Stila's work better than others. Okay, so it looks like MAC has a new lipstick collab with Barbie. A very pretty bright bink, bink. A very pretty bright pink shade. Definitely says Barbie. I like that gold packaging though. That is really, really cute. Something nice. To display and you know I love Barbie stuff so yeah very very cute I don't know if I'll be picking that up I don't think that color will look good on my skin tone at all yeah no <laughs> but yeah that is that available now yep it's available now okay so it looks like ABH has brought back their collab glow kit with Nicole Guerrero hopefully I'm saying that right and it includes six highlighting shades for $40. It says it'll be available for a limited time. So hopefully it's still available if you're interested in it. I didn't pick it up the first time and I don't think I'm going to pick it up this time, but those highlighters do look very, very pretty and they look pretty universal. So I'm not surprised that it is one that people really liked enough for them to bring it back. 
Now, I know you guys have probably already seen this for sure. ColourPop came out with some new sponges, um, you know, for your makeup application. It says here it's the Pastel Dream Blending Sponges. The Full Beat Kit, such a cute kit with different sponges, sponge shapes in pastel colors. $20 or they're $7 each. So that's not bad for five sponges, 20 bucks. That's not bad. It says there's a velvet blending sponge. Flocked velvet texture creates a flawless airbrush look. I hate those kind of sponges. <laughs> so that alone will make me not buy the kit. I don't like those. What is it? The um, Juno & Co. type sponges? I hate those. It says detail blending sponge with a precision tip that fits perfectly under the eyes. That one sounds nice. Hourglass blending sponge. Hourglass shape is comfy to hold and bounce on product easily. Silicone blending sponge. Silicone core minimizes product absorption. I won't like that one either because I don't like the silicone sponges for your face. It says complexion blending sponge. Your go-to for flawless complexion application. So yeah, I think I would have to just pick out the individual ones that I want to try out because <clears throat> I already know two of the sponges I don't want. So, but if you like all those types of sponges and you want to try them all out, I think $20 is a great deal for five sponges. So another one of the items that Fenty Beauty is coming out with or is already out probably at this time, it is creamy sheer buildable shades of blush and bronzer. So there's a whole plethora of shades of blushes, some different bronzer shades in here as well. Okay, it says coming soon to Fenty Beauty, so I guess we'll find out when they drop, but that is a lot of different shades of blush. And the bronzers actually look like they're gonna go pretty deep. I'm not really into cream bronzers or cream blush, so... This drop doesn't really excite me as far as wanting any of these items because, yeah, I'm not really into the creams. Definitely not cream blushes. Possibly cream bronzers, but, yeah, none of those are really talking to me. But those blush colors are really, really pretty. Really nice. I guess if I was into cream um, bronzers, contours, blushes, and stuff like that, I probably would at least try out one or two. I don't see a price yet, but. Okay, and I think lastly, I'll go ahead and talk about these Pure Times Trolls eyeshadow palettes because I think they're super duper cute. <laughs> Very cute. So Pure came out with some collab eyeshadow palettes with the Trolls or with the Trolls movie. Um, celebrating a new movie that came out. These are limited edition. I have seen them online at Ulta, still available, $18 each. I think these are so, so cute. I mean, I have enough small palettes to last me a lifetime. Yeah, the only thing that's keeping me from purchasing these is the $18 price tag. I just can't bring myself to pay the $18. I love the color story. The packaging is super cute. I think they're adorable, but Elf kind of spoiled me with their four pan eyeshadow palettes for $3. I just, I can't get past that. It's so hard for me to pay $18 for these eyeshadow palettes. I mean, even though they are super cute and, you know, it's not like I'm in love with the pure eyeshadow formula. So I'm wondering if the formula for these is really nice or if it's different than their usual formula, then maybe it'll be worth it. But yeah, I'm going to pass for now. Maybe they'll go on sale or something in the future and I'll grab one. But they're really cute. I just don't want to pay $18 for them. So that's it, you guys, for all the items that I want to talk about in this video without making it super duper long. Um, Yeah, I'm just... I'm really not excited about a lot of makeup right now, which, you know, it's kind of tough because we're all kind of like stuck 
and wanting to get excited about different things and kind of keep our mind off of stressful things that are going on right now. But yeah, at least we're able to take a look and chit chat about them for a little while. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if any of these items are exciting to you or you've already picked them up and tried them out let your girl know okay so thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next video Toodles.